Hello, Dan from Somatone here. In this video, I'm going to cover some really powerful new features to Live Update in FMOD 110. Live Update allows you to create audio content and monitor the results while connected to your game in real time. You can mix, iterate, test, and optimize your entire project in real time with instant feedback. This is a complete workflow for designing audio in interactive media. FMOD Studio provides an end-to-end -end workflow for iterating on your project. You can create, mix, and edit content in real time all while monitoring the audio that's playing back in-game. This is the best way to develop audio for interactive media. I have an FMOD project set up with the car demo from Unity 5. The first thing I'm going to show you is called Live Values. So I'm going to play my game, connect to Live Update, go to my mixing desk with Control 2 We see that orange markers have appeared on the tracks that are playing and loaded into memory. Currently, the ambience, car, reverb bus, and master bus are all playing and loaded into memory. The ambience bus doesn't have any sound playing, but the orange marker shows that there is an event playing, and I will show you why later in this video. There are also no collisions playing, so therefore no orange marker. Now I have a mixer snapshot set to play when I enter the tunnel in game that is going to turn up the reverb, turn down the ambience, turn down the car a little bit. And so in game, if I enter that, we see that orange dots have appeared at the level that everything is at. I'm gonna go back out of the snapshot and we can see that the orange dots have stayed in place. The faders are back in their no snapshot location. And so the orange dots show where the fader actually is. If you have multiple snapshots that affect the same faders, the dots will be the sum of all the instructions and show where the fader actually is. And to show you how this works in real time, let me just drive around a bit. next improvement to live update is called Asset Sync. We are now able to hot swap audio for an event while the game is running. I'm going to go to my ambience event and we can see that we have loop silence here. If an event doesn't have a file to play when it's called, it won't play anything. And so since this event starts at the beginning of the game, I wanted to make sure it was playing something so I could show you how to hot swap. If I didn't have the silence there, it wouldn't have started playing. I'm going to add a file that's not in my banks or in my asset folder. Just gonna add a new file that's on my computer and drop it in. And we can hear it start playing. But it's already cutting off based on that loop, so I'm gonna change the loop that is in the game. Delete my silence. And mix it in a little bit better. And you can see I've hot swapped a new audio file into the project. And this is great for testing, so if I say I don't like that one, I can add a different one. I'm actually going to add both of them. I'm also going to add in an audience, and you can see I've done the same thing with silence. I'm going to add in my crowd loop. You can hear it start to play immediately. So you can see I can easily drop in and test audio files while the game is running. The last thing I'm going to cover is called Connect Time Sync. I'm going to break the live update connection by turning off Unity. But I'm going to leave live update running and then turn Unity back on. All of our changes will persist. Now there's a great way to A-B test with this. So I have live update off and my game off. I'm going to turn on my game and we can hear what is loaded into the banks. Now I can turn on live update and my changes will be applied. So anything that is in studio will override anything in the banks once live update is connected. Live update allows you to create, mix, test, and optimize in-game. It allows for fast iteration and fast results.
all in a workflow designed for games. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the new features in FMOD 110. You can download it at fmod.com.